Sup, y'all? I'll bring you guys another video. So as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title, both Alicia Baumgartner and Liam Paro have signed with Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing. So now they'll be uh, fighting on The Zone, exclusively on The Zone. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, uh, to those who don't know who Alicia Baumgartner is, she is a 27-year-old fighter from the USA, 11-1, and 1, 7 wins coming by way of Naka Artikyo. She is the current WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, as well as the IBO Champion, uh, coming off the TKO Naka win against Terry Harper back in November. No surprise that she has signed with Matchroom, honestly, no surprise here, um, because she has been, if you've been watching The Zone, she has been part of the broadcast team doing commentating, talking, and showing up to fights, uh, the zone fights, the zone events. So no surprise that she is part of uh, Team Matchroom now. Um, some comments from her. Uh, she said, and I quote, she said, 2021 was definitely a breakthrough year for me. I had great experience working with Matchroom to win the WBC and IBO world titles in the UK. Signing this deal with them puts me in a position to achieve my next goal of becoming undisputed at 130 pounds. Being on top is to stay on top and continue being the athlete I know I am. I have no doubt I am the top dog in my weight class and it's only a matter of time before I have all the belts to prove it. Nobody is going to stand in my way. I've worked very hard to stay and make my mark. I will continue making history in the sport of boxing. So uh, the most realistic fight, big fight, uh, for uh, um, Alicia Baumgartner is a fight against the other champion, Hyun Mi Choi, who is also under matchroom boxing. Um, she is the current WBA champion. If you look at the champions in their, her weight division, Hyun Mi Choi holds the WBA, Michaela Mayer holds the IBF and the WBO, and as well as the ring magazine belts. So... The most realistic fight is a fight against Hyun Mi Choi, but the bigger fight, the biggest fight, is against Michaela Mayer. And hopefully we do see that in the future. Um, it's going to be a tough fight to, to uh, make because of Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum not really you know, looking eye to eye these days um, and the politics of boxing. But hopefully we can see that fight after Baumgartner versus Hyun Mi Choi, if Baumgartner beats Hyun Mi Choi. Um, the other fighter is Liam Paro, a 25-year-old fighter from Australia. He's coming for a win against Yomar Alamo, a close fight where he won by split decision. A lot of people thought he lost that fight. Um, and that was in the undercard of the Jake Paul fight. Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley rematch. And Paro definitely got a lot of recognition from that. And now, you know, here he is signing with Match on Boxing. Uh, it's the second fighter under that fought in an undercard of a Jake Paul event that has signed with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom. Uh, Montana Love is another fighter who fought in the undercard of the first fight between Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley and he signed with Matchroom as well. And uh, yeah, some quotes from Liam Paro. I'm sure he's excited, man. He, I mean, this is a big signing for him. He said, and I quote, he said, I'm delighted to sign with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing in what is a major move for my career. I'm excited to be part of their expansion into Australia, but their global platform also allows me to box in key markets such as the US and the UK. With Matchroom and Ace Boxing Group behind me, I know I have the right team to make big moves in the 140 pound division. I'm right on the verge of fighting for the world title and I look forward to bringing more boxing glory back to Australia. So, um, yeah, fighting at 140, there's only one champion right now at 140 and that's Josh Taylor. So right now I just see Liam Paro just trying to make a name for himself under the zone and matchroom. And eventually I think once um Josh Taylor moves up in weight and vacates all the belts, I think Liam Paro will definitely have a shot at one of those world titles. But yeah, big moves. You know, I'm happy for both fighters. Uh, I think it's definitely uh, a right move for both of them, in my opinion. Um, you know, I think my my opinion, matchroom and the zone are doing a great job uh delivering fights putting up fights and uh, Eddie Hearn is very motivated and uh, very uh, you know, hardworking when it comes to putting up this event. So 
they, they will definitely fight twice, at least twice in 2022. And I look forward to both fights, both of them fighting and uh, looking forward to seeing how the rest of their career will go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.